which territories could be the next U.S. state? Number two is Puerto Rico, who currently enjoys not having to pay federal income tax. There's a lot of gray area, so let's get right into it. Enjoys not paying federal income tax is a stretch. So we're going to do numbers today. We're going to compare where I used to live to where I currently live. Let's say I was making a salary of 30000 a year in New York City. The federal withholding of my annual salary will be 33 a month. So my monthly pay will be 475 Now, if I'm making that same money in Puerto Rico, nothing gets take off from federal. State would be a little higher, but I would make monthly $505. That's a little bit more. But wait, I got to go grocery shopping. I got to pay bills. Sales tax rate in New York is 4%. The sales tax in Puerto Rico is 10%. The highest in the country. <coughs> Jones Act. Now bills. Average New Yorker pays 16 cents per kilowatt an hour. Puerto Rico's gotta pay 33 cents an hour. 80% higher than the rest of the country. I would literally be spending the majority of my income just trying to survive in Puerto Rico. It doesn't take somebody with a degree to realize that the math ain't mathing. So yes, I enjoy not paying federal income tax, but I would rather enjoy not having to deal with taxation without representation. And I don't mean being a state. Have a good day.